All right, Scope TV on a Thursday night. We are here Veterans Day Eve on a Thursday, Scope TV. We got that Boston-Miami connection going down tonight. I got my man Dirty. Some of you may know him as D.I. on the phone. What's up, Dirty? Hey, what's good? What's happening, man? So, how you doing tonight? Man, I'm doing real good, real good right now, man. What's going on? All right, well, let's get right into it. We got a lot of questions for you. I tell you, we could have kept going, but we had to narrow it down. Our editor's giving us hell up in here, but where are we talking from today, and what's up for the weekend? Uh, right now, man, um, I'm out at the Batcave right now in uh, Marietta, Florida right now. All right, and what are you doing this weekend? Well, for the weekend, well, I got a serious, like, uh, studio schedule going right now, but I actually got another session that I'm about to get into tonight, but um, after, you know, after the studio, man, whatever happens, whatever happens, we don't really too much make no plans until after. That's beautiful. After the session goes through. Now, being that you did time in the Air Force, what does this holiday mean to you? Obviously, talking about Veterans Day. Uh, Veterans Day, man, it's a it's a big day. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially, uh, you know, me serving in the in the military, man. Um, uh, you know, it, it's it's a good time for people to re to look back and reflect on the fact of you know everybody before us and what they did, you know, for our country and how. Set up right now. Now, at what age did you get the alias Dirty, and did you really start to see hip hop as as a career, as something you could do full time? Man, it, um, the name came when I was about like twenty one. I say twenty one or twenty two. Man, it was just, and it wasn't nothing like special. It was just they were basically calling me that from where, because of where I was from. You know, me being from Dallas, Texas, and it's how I just kind of started. It started off as young, you know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, a couple of years later, I just dropped it. Beautiful. Now, I really love your song, Never Say. Scope's been playing it for the past two months, and they're going to continue to do so. Where'd you record and uh, film that video uh, for that record? Uh, man, we rec I recorded that video in uh, Miramar, Florida. I recorded the video in Miramar, Florida, and... Uh, Couple scenes in Destin, Florida, you know, because that's kind of the area where I live in. And what's the what's Hello. what's the message behind the song? What are you saying with that? Never say. Never say, man. The message I would say it was just it was dealing with a lot of issues to where I could say some some uh, you know some motivational, inspirational types stuff and kind of share some with the audience. You know what I'm saying? The fans. Now, the first time we heard Never Say, we knew it was a hit. Was that how you and your team felt as well? Yeah, initially after, you know, uh, after it was initially first finished, you know what I'm saying, I immediately came up with the concept of, of you know, how I was going to put the record out and how we needed to make sure that the record, you know what I'm saying, uh, gained some exposure that it needed. That yeah. was a real dope record. Yeah, that is a dope record. Now, you have Sangria Music. Is that out yet, or it's still coming? Am I wrong? Wow, no, Sangria Music is still coming. It's still, still coming. still coming, strong. that's uh, right. Speak on that project, and also, what's up with the Sangria? Are you a, are you a fan of that fancy beverage? <laughs> yeah, man, Sangria, just, it was one of the, like, it's just something that I do, you know what I'm saying? So I just kind of associated with, you know what I'm saying, it's like an all-day drink, man. You can drink it any time of the day. It's real smooth, mellow, relaxing, and kind of just set the vibe for the whole for the whole project. Now, you a smooth brother. There's no doubt about this. What kind of ladies do you go for? I mean, how do you keep yourself in, in looking right? Obviously, you got a fresh fade. But what kind of ladies, when you out there in Florida, are you looking for? Are you looking for them white girls? What... What kind of ladies catching your attention these days, and where are you taking these ladies once you grab them? Man, I'm looking for I'm looking for all girls, man. We, uh, I I kind of really don't have no preference, man. I like pretty, sexy women, and you know you gotta be fly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a good head on your shoulders. You know, we, you know, so we can have these intellectual conversations, man. I gotta get some substance, but you know, for the most part, man, you gotta have your fly on, your swag on. You gonna be monogamous? You gonna be with just one woman? 
Uh, you yeah, I try good? to do one at a time, you know what I'm saying, when I'm in that <laughs> mode. But, you know, I'm a single guy, so I, I'm, I'm, free to, I'm free to roam. That's right. I like that. Now, you're down with Soko Entertainment in Florida, which is a powerhouse. Everybody knows that, especially in the underground scene. How did you link up with them, and what's your role besides being an artist within that company? Well, uh, Soko and T was uh, originally started, man, uh, me, myself, and, uh, you know, my partner, Jay Freeze, you know, which is also an artist. And my role in Soko and T basically is uh, uh, everything from, from the top to the bottom, I would say. Like coming up with the with the plans and the schemes and the budgets and all that stuff to, to push our projects. That makes sense. Now... How has the recession and the hard times that people are going through, has that had an effect on what you try to speak about in your rhymes? Most definitely. Most definitely has an effect on, on, on some of the things I like to, you know, uh, <clears throat> or subjects I like to touch on, like in my rhymes, because we just in a time right now where, where if you got something uh, relevant to say, people need to hear it, you know what I mean? And what's your view for the future? Are you an optimist for America? Or what, what do you see going on here? Man, I'm always going to be an optimist. Because, I mean, i got to be an optimist. Because it's always, it's always got to be something better. And it's always something that I don't know yet. So it's a reason for me to continue to be out here and, and gain this information. Now, I mean, you don't have, you know, anybody, you don't even have to be heavy into hip-hop to know uh, that that Florida in general has become just a hip hop mecca. Do you feel competition with these other rappers out here, whether it be Rick Ross or Plies? Um, you know, you can just keep going on and on. T Pain, right. any of these brothers? Right. I'm. A, I mean, in a, in a sense, yeah, I most definitely do because, like, you know, you, you want to be you want to be associated with the best. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be the best. So you you always got to maintain it. And, and, and make your moves and structure your moves to where to the point where you can be on the same playing field as those types of artists. Makes sense. Now, what are two qualities that you feel an MC must have these days to get respect and notoriety? And let me just say, I feel that two qualities that, are, that an MC can need today was totally different 10 years ago. Speak on that, please. Right. Right now, like, Two qualities that they that I feel like you just gotta have is like gotta have a perseverance, man, and good records. Gotta have perseverance and good records. That was easy. I think those most definitely are the two. You know, it's like you, regardless of how talented you are, or, how, or 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 you know what your image is like, or whatever that case may be, man. You gotta have you gotta have some perseverance and you gotta have some good records because it don't happen for nobody. Tomorrow, That's even though right. sometimes it might look like this. Now you seem like a like a guy that knows how to have a good time. What's a night on the town like with Dirty after a show? Man, night on the town after a show. We trying to we we party hard, man. We work hard, we party hard. So we trying to we trying to turn it all the way up after the show. We gotta hit another after party spot. It just depends on where we at. Like if we in we in the stomping uh, grounds of Florida, man, don't nothing close till like four thirty in the morning. So <laughs> man, play the spot you can hit up. You know what I'm saying after 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 the shows and, and and still go get your drink on and party till the sun come up. Man, now listen, we got one final question. I really want to go out with a bang. And what I really enjoy about this, the scope listeners got to know is is dirty. He don't speak a lot, but when he does, you got to listen. This man nails it every time. But listen, we got to go out with a bang. I want these people to know, because people all over the world are listening to this interview. What's coming up for Dirty, a.k.a. D.I., Soko Entertainment? Where are you at online? Where can they follow you? Please, lay it on them. Take the next 15 seconds, please. Uh, well, uh, what's coming up for Dirty is Soko NT, man, and the fam is... Uh, never coming down video is coming soon, uh, which will be the next single for the Sangria and Potpourri. Uh, we got Jay Freeze, we got Young Treasure. Uh, make sure y'all hit us up, uh, SoCoFamily.net. Shout out to Florida DJ, my DJ, and y'all keep it locked, man. Keep looking out for SoCo and T.
And these scope listeners know that they're going to be able to see not only Dirty, but they're going to be able to see the whole SoCo Entertainment roster when they be heading over to ScopeMag.com and Scope Radio. Most definitely, man. We're going we gonna, to we gonna try to flood the whole magazine with the roster. I like that. Scope TV, happy Veterans Day. God bless the USA. God bless the troops. And we're going to see y'all soon.